Hello everyone, and uh, this is Ren no Jidai, a Shogun Total War Sengoku Jidai Medieval Japan style mod for um, the original Rome Total War. And uh, Ren no Jidai uh, is very cool because uh, because of the more modability of the Rome Total War map, of course there are map mods for Shogun 2 as well, including mods that add a ton of new provinces and things like that. Um, but in any case, the Rome Total War map modding is a little bit more flexible, right? So um, this is a huge map of Japan, and there are more playable factions than there are in uh, Vanilla Shogun 2, and there are some uh, clans playable here that are uh, not playable in Shogun 2. So, for example, we've got the Amako, not playable in uh, Shogun 2, the Asai, the Asakura, and then, of course, you have your mainstays like um, Date, Chosokabe, Hojo, and then Hosokawa, again, not playable in Shogun 2, Imagawa, which should have been playable in Shogun 2, but is not. Um, Miyoshi, not playable in Shogun 2, Oda, Shimazu, Takeda, Uesugi, Urakami. And you know, this mod, Ren no Jidai, is, um, it's a very nice mod. It, it utilizes a lot of elements from uh, Shogun 2. It uses sounds and uh, the soundtrack from Shogun 2, as well as some aspects of Shogun 1 as well. And uh, unfortunately, this mod has um, some issues, especially with performance, right? So I'm actually going to turn down. Uh, I'm actually going to go down to normal unit scale because p performance is just really tough um, with this mod, unfortunately. And uh, that's the main con for me with this mod. Uh, in addition to a few other things which we'll cover, of course. Um, so in any case, uh, let's start up a uh, campaign as perhaps the Shimazu, uh, just to showcase how the campaign works and, um, and uh, how um, the battles look in this mod. So let's take a quick look at the campaign map here. Again, I want to do these overviews of um, nice old Rome Total War mods just to give people um, a sense of the modding scene for Rome Total War because, you know, um, the modding scene for Rome Total War was big back in the day, but that heyday has long passed, especially with the release of Medieval 2, and then after Medieval 2, the release of Rome 2, um of course, took modding resources away from the original Rome Total War, and people got interested in modding for Medieval 2, and then for Rome 2 as opposed to Rome 1. So, but, so this is one of those classic mods for Rome Total War. You can see you've got the unique um, Japanese-style uh, settlements here, uh, unique on the campaign map, as well as in um, uh, on the battle map. So we've got uh, Chosokabe here, um, and then we've got uh, Kyoto, of course, up here. Um, and yeah, you know, it's a very nice looking mod. It's a very nice map of Japan. It's so big, so it's cool. I like the map. It's a little bit too big for my taste, but its size, of course, and the the more moddable nature of the Rome Total War mapping engine um, allows for a little bit more of a historical distribution of provinces. So, for example, the north in Shogun 2 is a little sparse. Uh, and it is sparser here, of course, but um, sparser than the uh, central and southern Japan. But um, it does have more provinces, of course, and then Date have a more historically accurate uh, start position. And the Uesugi as well. And then we have Ikoiki. Not my favorite faction in Shogun 2, I can tell you that. The Ikoiki. A lot of headaches with them. And then, of course, you've got uh, the Oda, the Matsudaira, and then the Imagawa, and then the Hojo. 
one of my favorites, the Hojo. So uh, let's show off some of the art here. So the UI, I like the UI here. It's a little bit muddy. The visuals are a little bit dated in this mod. Um, again, the visuals in this mod have not aged as well as uh, some other mods. Like, um, I feel Europa Barbarorum has not aged so badly uh, in terms of its uh, UI, but you can see the unit cards. The unit cards look all right. I'm pretty happy with them. They're a little bit muddy, but they look all right. And then you can see the battle mechanics here. Um, attack is low, defense is high uh, in general. So um, again, the battles are slowed down. They are slower than vanilla, which is good, um, or my preference. And then cavalry as well, lower attack, pretty good charge, higher defense. Um, the generals... Uh, portraits. So uh, they look pretty good when they're blown up a little bit like this, but they're a little bit muddy. They're a little bit unclear when they're small here down in the UI over there. And there's also the building icons here. And I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of the building icons. Uh, again, they look pretty good blown up here uh, when you enlarge them, but it just looks a little too muddy not high quality enough, and it doesn't really blend in with the Rome Total War sort of AI here. Or UI, I want to say. Um, but in any case, uh, getting that out of the way, uh, let's talk a little bit about... Um, oh, and here's our diplomat. I like, I like his portrait there. Uh, so let's do some exploring. So we can see we've got some rebels nearby so let's leave some of the yari ashigaru in kajiki there and then go attack some ito up there so we've got a good amount of um uh tepo ashigaru so of course this mod does have gunpowder and i will be showing you um uh, how the gunpowder effects look in Rome Total War here. Um, at least for this mod. And I have to, you know, spoiler alert, uh, they don't look as great as Napoleon Total War. So let's build uh, some nice things. Let's build a trader. So in terms of the economy, uh, one thing here is that when you expand uh, the castle, um, it gives you population growth bonus, which is cool. Um, and then if you uh, build bigger barracks, it takes more of your tax income. So it decreases your tax income. So again, you have to find a balance of what buildings you want. So again, if we build a horse dojo, um, th that's going to take our taxes down by 3%. But then, of course, superior farmland and things like that, shipwrights, those will definitely help quite a bit. And the unit rosters are fairly similar to Shogun 2, but they're a little, uh, they're expanded a little more. They have more ranks to them. So in Shogun 2, you have the um, Ashigaru at the lower tier, and then you have the um, Samurai, and then you have like the hero type of elite unit, right? So in um, Ran no Jidai, you have the Bumaru, who are like the peasant spearmen here. And then you have Yari Ashigaru above them, much better. Um, and then and then you get um, the Kachi, uh, which are in Fall of the Samurai, but not in regular Shogun 2. And then you have the, um, uh, the Samurai-type units. So let's um, recruit some... Uh, more gunmen. I like having gunmen. And then how about some Naginata infantry and then a Yari Kachi. Okay, so let's uh, end the turn here. I'd like to at least show off one battle here. Uh, this video won't be too long. Eco Iki Rebellion is here. Of course there are um... 
uh, historical events and things that uh, the game talks about uh, throughout the Ran no Jedi campaign. So let's construct a, a castle in Kajiki and in Kagoshima. Let's go for... Uh, I'd like to make a... Oh, interesting. Swordsmith gives a tax income bonus. That's nice. Um, let's go for... A samurai Horse Dojo, because, yeah, we can't recruit any cavalry, and I love having cavalry. So let's do that. So let's go up and besiege Minamata. Again, this map, uh, it's not the best looking map here, unfortunately. Um, but it doesn't look bad. Okay, let's maintain the siege. Minamoto, Minamata does not have uh, walls, so we can actually assault immediately. So we'll see where we have our first battle then. Uh, so let's end the turn. I just want to showcase a battle here. So you know what? Uh, what have they got? Uh, let's fight them. Um, I really like the loading screens. So whereas I'm not a huge fan of um, the overall art style in Ran no Jidai, uh, the loading screens are very nice. Uh, so let's show off uh, the units here. So as you see, the frame rate has dropped a little bit, but it's not as bad um, as it is on huge unit size and uh, the settings turned up. So let's take a look at the buildings here. Uh, so this is like a fortified town rather than the kind of uh, Japanese castles you have in uh, Shogun 2. And, you know, imagine this in the remaster. This would look so much nicer. Um, it looks okay. It looks decent for, you know, a Rome Total War mod. Uh, the houses look nice. Uh, nice enough. I like the doors and the windows here. Um, yeah, it, you know, transports you to medieval Japan. However, the, you know, let's take a look at the units here. So we've got new battering rams here, very, which is very nice. Uh, here are, are our uh, Yari Ashigaru. Looking pretty good. Pretty good. Not quite as iconic as those in Shogun 2, but they look pretty good with the long Yaris. Uh, yeah, more Yari Ashigaru. And then we have our gunman, our Teppo Ashigaru, and our general's bodyguard here. Um, so a lot of people complain about the balloon type thing on the back of the general's bodyguards in Shogun 2, but of course those are historically accurate. Perhaps every single one of the bodyguards would not have had that a balloon type thing I forget the name of it but it was it was for protecting against arrows if I'm not mistaken um, uh, and then their armor looks pretty good pretty good for again Rome total war unit uh, so let's get this party started and let's show off the gunpowder effects in the mod so let's get our Teppo Ashigaru uh, up to the front here because I want to use them. I like the colors in the mod. Again, it, it's kind of reminiscent of uh, Shogun 2, uh, no, Shogun 1 and the color schemes there. And you know, it, it is kind of reminiscent of the colors in uh, Shogun 2 as well. Bright, saturated, uh, a little bit cartoony, but um, uh, you know, it fits in with the kind of Rome 1 style, I think. And I have to say, you know, the units, they don't look bad. Uh, they have aged a little bit, right? Um, like, they don't quite look as nice as, you know, units in um, Barbarian Empires or... Um, 
um, Extended Cultures 5 or uh, Europa Barbarorum, but, or Roma Erectum, but they look okay. Like, especially if you're zoomed out a lot, I think the, the colors, especially for the Shimazu clan, uh, they look quite nice. They're, they're pleasing. So let's take a look at what the enemies got here. So the enemies just got some basic spearmen, Tuzu, uh, Tozoku Yari. Tuzoku Yari. Of course, that U is like a U kind of thing in Japanese. I'm not um, an expert in uh, East Asian languages like Japanese, but I at least know that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, speed this up a little bit. And uh, yeah, it definitely performs a lot better on normal unit size than it does on um, huge. On huge, it's practically unplayable with the frame rate. And that's, again, uh, it's so important. Okay, our gunmen are firing, and you can see the effect, the Rome Total War gunpowder effects in full view. And those are the effects. They just fired. So, um, yeah, again, as I said, you know, not, not Napoleon Total War effects here. Not uh, Darth Mod. Darth Maud Empire effects here, or Darth Maud Napoleon effects. Uh, yeah. What can you do? So let's send a couple of these gunmen through the breach there to fire from that side. Uh, there is a slight effect, but it's... Uh, I also have effects turned down. You know, let me let me turn effects up just slightly. Just to see um, if that improves anything. But yeah, no, those are the effects. Again... This mod on Rome Total War Remastered, or if there was a similar mod made, I think it could um, look a lot nicer. Of course, there is, there has been a um, uh, Medieval Japan type mod released for uh, Medieval 2 that I want to check out. Uh, it, it's in Alpha or Beta. It's called Shizoku no Senso, I believe. So there we go. There is a little effect. You saw there was like a Yeah, sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I saw it there. It was like microscopic. A missile. A projectile. There we go, there we go. Okay, so let's move our Yari Ashigaru in. And, you know, it looks kind of cool. With the Rome Total War Battle Engine um, remastered and with the redone HD visuals, this mod could look super nice. Or a mod in this style. So, yeah, that's why I'm showcasing... That's why I want to showcase a lot of these old mods. Uh, because you can see this mod has aged. It has not aged as well as um, some other mods, unfortunately. And you know what? Um, the remaster would be so good for it. 
It would look so good, I think. And again, I think Shogun 2... Shogun 2 is such a beautiful game. Like, for a game released in 2011, like, it's so, mu it's so much nicer looking than, like, Rome 2 for me. Like, Rome 2 looks fine, but compared to Shogun 2 and the aesthetic, the art design... Um, there we go. Gun in one hand, katana in the other. Celebrating. So let's bring our gunman to the left here. Okay, so these are some other gunmen. So let's bring these gunmen a little bit uh, closer. Because it seems like the enemy is pulling back to the main square. And again, they've just got some uh, basic spearmen here. Actually, these spearmen are not so bad. All things considered. Uh, let's speed this up for a minute. Get our gunman into position. Let's bring our general in as well. Pathfinding, uh, not the best. Like, for example, you can't walk here. And I don't know why you can't walk there. But, you know, oh, there we go. Nice lamps here. Looking good. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, pathfinding. Oh, pathfinding. Okay, Teppo Ashigaru. Set up, please. Yeah, set up. Start firing on those guys. Are my guys routing? Oh, it's my general. Guys, please set up. Again, hopefully, I really hope they've improved Pathfinding in the remaster, at least to a degree. Because, uh, yeah, it's really not great. Of course, uh, in my review of Rome 2, I said the Pathfinding is good. And, you know, that's because I'm... Comp and, you know, I know Rome 2's Pathfinding is not perfect. But if you compare it to Rome 1... It's good. Like, it's not that bad. I know at release, uh, Rome 2's Pathfinding had significant issues. Um, but yeah, not, not as bad as Rome 1. Okay, come on, guys. Let's fire. They're firing at the building. Yeah, my Teppo are not doing great in melee, but that's okay. Uh, General, get behind the gunman, please. Okay, our guys are firing. Very good. I wonder how good gunpowder effects could look in Rome Total War Remastered. I think it would definitely... Uh, you would definitely be able to improve them quite a bit. These gunmen are supposed to deploy over there, but they're very confused. <clears throat> okay, let's see our gunmen take down these guys. Yep, we got their general. You saw there was a slight effect there of the guns. So there is like some effect sometimes. So let's set up our gunmen a bit closer. Okay, so they start firing. Yeah, so battles here definitely not as fast as Vanilla Rome Total War, and definitely um, not as uh, 
not as fast as Shogun 2 either. Like, this would have been over a long time ago. Okay, let's get our Yari Ashigaru in there. Let's bring our general in closer. And then uh, once this battle's over, that'll be it for this showcase. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, again, this is an interesting mod, uh, Ran no Jidai. It's not perfect. Um, and you know, in 2018, the, the lead developer, Big Bud, of uh, Ran no Jidai said in a forum post that he was going to work on a, a stable sort of final version. But I believe that never came to be, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah, you can see my Teppo are firing through the building. So again, Rome Total War Engine, not perfect for this. We did it. But, um, yeah, that's Ran no Jidai. I hope, um, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It's, it's a cool mod. It's interesting. It's unique. Uh, we got OB. Hello there. Because of OB Wan. All right. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I'd like to show about Ran no Jidai. Uh, and again, I'm I hope to uh, get some other classic mods and cover them. Uh, over the next few weeks leading up to the release of Rome Total War Remastered. Uh, because, of course, Rome Total War Remastered opens up a lot of possibilities, uh, especially for the mod community, especially since we know how moddable the game's going to be. Um, it's going to be very cool. It's going to be very cool. So, yeah, Ran no Jidai. It's one of those classic mods that has not aged very well, I would say. Um... But it was very good for its time, and you know, it's kind of fun. So if you'd like to download it and take it for a spin, uh, you can find it. Um, you can find the Ran no Jidai sub forum with download links in the description below. So I'll see you guys in the next one.